If you've been watching HBO's new series Westworld, and if you're like me, then you've probably already asked yourself, how much would Westworld cost? This question can come in the form of how much does it cost to go to Westworld? Or more interestingly, how much would it cost to build Westworld if you were, say, an eccentric billionaire like Elon Musk? Early on in the series, the character Logan suggests that Westworld costs $40,000 per day. Some interesting people online played with the email address associated with the viral marketing campaign, and they got offers for a gold package of about $1.5 million per week. The packages may vary regular, silver, gold, etc., and assuming this is in future dollars 40 to 50 years from now, the actual prices in today's dollars will be about one-fourth of that, or approximately $10,000 per day. How far you want to go? entirely up to you. That's kind of an easy answer, but a more fun one is, if you wanted to build your own Westworld, how much would it cost you, and how much would you have to charge your guests to make your money back? The biggest cost factor in Westworld is definitely going to be the price of the land. The park is enormous, and guests can travel for days without finding the edge, and it's authentic, real American Western land, so let's try and figure out how big the park is so we can figure out how much it costs. Once again, let's look at William, Logan, and Dolores. They travel from the beginning of the park near Sweetwater, which we will assume is near an edge where people come in, to the outer edges of the park. During their adventures, they traveled on horse for two days, on train for about 14 hours, and then on horseback for approximately eight more hours. Horses can travel about 20 miles per day safely. They might can do more if you push them, but we'll assume about 30 miles per day because they're robo-horses. Civil War era trains would travel approximately 20 miles per hour at the time, and assuming the park wants to keep it authentic, they are going to keep it about 20. Now they could go faster depending on load and rail quality, but we're going to stick with the 20 miles per hour. If you add up all of these distances, this gives us a maximum possible park diameter of 332 miles, but since the train and the horses don't really travel in straight lines, and you got to go around rivers and mountains and it's a little curvy, we'll assume about 180 miles in diameter. This will give us an area area of about 25,445 square miles, which is approximately an area the size of a U.S. state, I use New Mexico as an example, takes up a huge area of Brazil, or approximately the size of France. If you're looking at total acreage, this is about 16 million acres, and by the way, I'm doing U.S. units here because it's Westworld in the western U.S., and if you look up the price of land in New Mexico and get kind of an average, it's about $750 per acre. Now, you're going to have tribal lands on this, government lands, and individual private owners that don't want to sell, so instead of assuming any sort of bulk discount, we'll just stick with the $750 acre average, which means the total price of this massive U.S. state-sized chunk of land called Westworld is about 12 billion dollars. Moving on, the next most expensive component is the host cost, or the androids themselves. Early on in the series, it's mentioned that there are about 2,000 of them in use in the park, and there's probably about 3,000 owned in total because you have some working maintenance, some working in the resort and check-in areas, and some just in storage. A host is composed of synthetic tissue, a super advanced computer slash wetware brain, 3D printed bones, real blood and organs, and are quite expensive. So I'm gonna estimate a price of a manufactured host, not including research and design of about two million dollars which means the total host cost is about six billion dollars those are the two major costs, but let's look at some of the smaller line items because they do add up. There are a lot of buildings and construction in Westworld. You have one large resort where the guests check in before they go into the park. I'm going to estimate a cost of approximately $10 million to build based on current resort costs. You've got an employee apartment housing complex where the character Bernard and some of the other employees reside. I'm going to assume is much cheaper, about three hundred k. You've got a mega underground research station slash central hub, which I'm going to estimate on the low end of about 40 million. You've got five authentic towns that we've seen so far inside Westworld, and I'm going to estimate the cost of building each one fully and wired and all this sort of stuff with cameras and electricity at being about 50 million or 10 million per town. There are 12 service stations that we've seen so far. I'm going to assume that there's about 400,000 each, which will add up to about 4.8 million. And there's one giant digger in the park to reorganize terrain, which based on the cost of the Bagger 288, the real world biggest digger ever, it costs about a hundred million dollars. You've got two trains, which I'll estimate at about one million, which brings the total for all the buildings and constructions to a little bit over two hundred million dollars. 
Don't forget the clothing, items, and weapons for the guests and for the androids. That's another two million right there. And we have human staff working as well. I'm gonna estimate the total staff at around 400 people, assuming about a one to nine ratio of managers to workers. Now, this might seem a little bit small for a park this size, but don't forget they have a lot of uh, hosts doing the work. And the average salary of a person working at this place is gonna be quite high because it's hyper advanced, you know? So I'm gonna assume about 150K a person, which brings our total to about $60 million per year for the staff and we'll assume a half of one year of salary for recruiting costs so your startup to hire those people is probably going to be about 30 million dollars that's the total cost of all the things that I wanted to go through, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw a plus 25% all of that for all the stuff that I can't account for in this video, such as legal fees, insurance fees, marketing fees, employee retirement benefits, a thousand things that we don't really have the time for. So if today you were super rich and you wanted to build your own Westworld, it would cost about $22.8 billion. While that may seem extremely expensive, it is surprisingly doable. And if you wanted to make your money back, let's assume you can accommodate up to 500 guests 365 days a year with no downtime. If you're doing that, then you need to charge around $6,300 a day per guest to make your money back in 20 years, and this is assuming no maintenance cost. If you factor in maintenance and operating costs and insurance and marketing and losses and whatnot, then charging 10 to $15,000 per day per guest seems more reasonable, and that is shockingly accurate to the 10,000 that we mentioned in the very beginning of this video when you adjust for inflation since Westworld is set in the future. And one more fun fact, while that may seem unattainable for any person or company on the planet, if you get bored, just go to Wikipedia and look up the list of largest companies by revenue, and you'll see that there are a great number of corporations in the world that could afford to build Westworld with less than 10% of their total revenue. So Westworld could actually be a reality in the future. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm Drifter, and my editor on this was Ragnar. His channel is linked down there in the description, and there's an annotation on the screen. Drifter out.